Hello, it's Swan here, and welcome back to another video. And today I've got something very exciting for you because I believe we're actually doing what is actually like the first ever collab on my channel, which is very surprising considering that I've been doing this for like four years and I've just never had anyone else on my channel. But the reason why this is so exciting is because we're actually collaborating with another Urban Rifles YouTuber, and in particular, we are playing with a guy called Race and YT. I'm sorry that name is probably mispronounced like hell, but I did try and go through your videos and see how you pronounced it, but I couldn't. And I would have him in the video with me. However, he speaks Spanish and I don't speak Spanish and he doesn't speak English, so it meant that we kind of had to record our own videos. But make sure that after you've watched this video, you go over to his channel, watch the video which we did together on there, because basically we did three matches on my channel and then three matches for his channel, so... The link for that will also be down in the description and whatnot down below if you want to check that out. As for the games which we did, unfortunately I couldn't record my live commentary because we recorded at like 9 in the morning. But yeah, in this match, you can see that I'm actually playing Montana's. I decided to not go for the Shunta and instead I started wearing purple. And to clarify, we are playing Type 1 so this is why I went for this. And coming into this game, I sort of thought to myself, hmm, what do people usually do with El Gascaro? Like, due to the defeat plus free life, typically that's just a card which people hold, so I was sort of like debating to myself, do I go for Angelo, like, um, should I go for him, or would that be a bit of a waste, considering that there's cards like Noctezuma who we need to worry about, and I believe in the end, yeah, I decided to go for Montanus, and I decided to play a good 2-3 pills on him, 18 attack, and coming into it, fortunately that was enough to just PP him, and I was just... Super glad that I played correctly there. And coming into the second match, I believe, yeah, what I did is I just decided to old Ed CR just because I was hoping that I could get him to waste a whole load more pills, play something like, I don't know, El Mariachi or Wunderlana on a whole load of pills, and I just wanted to see how he would react to this, and I just hoped that I could make, like, a massive, massive pill gap to really utilise. Fortunately, again, much to my surprise, he then just decided to ult, so that meant that we easily had the win there. I believe um, I was just waiting for him to play something like Noctezuma or whatever. Actually, no, 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 no. Um, due to how it was and the fact that he could only do a maximum of 50, it meant that I could just Fury Fairbanks for the KO, so that's exactly what I did. And that concludes our first match um, with me and Rayson. Um, Rayson? I think I should put more of an accent on it, but would that be slightly racist in a way that I'm trying to... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but that was match one, and I was very surprised that I managed to get a KO like that. I, I just consider that the first two rounds which I did, um, those PPs, I just considered myself very lucky, and I was wondering whether this luck would hold up, and I wanted to see how things would progress into the next match. And coming into the next game, you could see that he had um, changed his decks to Junks, and at this point I felt actually quite bad because I was thinking to myself, oh wait, was I meant to change my deck more than I have? Like, I've de I decided for this video I was playing Montana this deck, and then for his video on my channel, I decided to go with um, Lushant on his channel just because I thought that's what people might know me for playing from DT, so that's what I went for. He went for Quibic. I didn't want to go pill in, so naturally I just ordered Angelo and I decided to really utilise that pill gap. And then coming into this play, what I wish I'd done was I wish that I'd actually taken my time to calculate it and figure out exactly how much he could play. So I wish I'd left um, 49 for Fairbanks, but unfortunately I only left 42, which was annoying because it meant that if he ordered, then I wouldn't have enough just to go for a straight two hit KO. I remember from doing that, I was a bit worried and also I was worried at the, you know, potential that he might not, um, just, he might he might actually manage to PP me first, so I was just be cautious to see how this game might turn out. It was a bit terrifying, but fortunately he went for a play which, in reality, it does make a lot of sense, but it was very risky for him to go for. Unfortunately, that was enough for me to go and secure the win. He just gave that little thumbs up, which I thought was really, um, really nice. And then I just went straight for the Fairbanks, Fury Bats, and then boom, we've got another um, KO thanks to Fairbanks. Right, coming into the game, what, immediately what I thought he would do was just hold something like Gus Rope. So naturally, I just went for, straight for Racer, get that beautiful minus 24 attack minip. 
you know, people might say um, if you knew a person his minus 20 attack manip is good, but still Racer is just one level ahead of all of them. I just decided to old race to see if he went for something like Ghost Rope Aldered or see what see how he decided to respond to it. Fortunately, he did that, and again, fortunately, I played one pills that had eight attack on Rosa because if I didn't do that, he would have won due to obviously the attack difference and his um, minus two power. So it's good that I left that pill. And then also coming into this round, I was kind of thinking to myself, right, what's he going to do now? Logically, he's got two DR, so maybe he'll go for something like four to guess and get that brawl minus one opponent's image. Like, that made quite a lot of um, sense to me, so I was just thinking of how to go about doing that. He did play that, and although Angelo was very tempting, of course, you've got Doc Ollie there, so I didn't want to go straight for him, and instead, I just went for someone like Dr. Eliza, or did like that. And he surprisingly. Much, yeah, very much surprisingly decided to play a whole lot of pills on Ford, which meant I just had a massive pill gap for me to play with. Just a really unfortunate overpill on his half. So it meant that I could just, you know, play as, it, as I would and go get a nice and easy win. So I'm trying to think how I did it in this order. Yeah, I think I did that actually because I did. I wanted to make sure that Dakota couldn't win via any, mean, via any means due to her confident plus life per damage but it's not like there was any way she could win that maximum she could have played would have been 45 i believe i left 48 there so easy win right there and yes we can see he did go all in oh oh yeah yeah of course i'm um, 42 minus some um, the attack minip so he did go all in but due to me actually pilling and not holding angelo it meant that i got a nice win there and to f I, yeah right here i had a little bit of a predicament I was thinking to myself, do I be mean and Fury Fair Fairbanks again, even though it's not like he'll give me the KO? Or do I be respectful and, you know, just get the win via my own accord? And I decided that I should just go win normally and not Fury Fairbanks for no reason, because I just thought that would have been a tad bit disrespectful and I didn't want to come off rude, especially to a guy who had very generously agreed to do a video of me. But yeah, there we go. Those were my three matches with um, Rayson YT. Make sure you also check out his channel because on his um, channel right now, he will also have a video showing the three matches we did for his channel. If you speak Spanish, I reckon you'll really get along with his channel. If not, you know, um, <laughs> maybe you learn Spanish and you can enjoy his videos. <laughs> Great life advice there. But anyway. I'm in it, Swan. Um, if there's anyone who you think I should go collaborate with next or make a video with next, make sure you leave that in the comments down below because I'm always certainly down to making videos with other people or anything like that. All people just need to do is ask and then as long as I'm free then I'm down. But in the meantime, I've been it, Swan. Thanks for watching and goodbye.